name is Amaka Otaru. My presentation title is Academic Freedom. Assigned book is censorship. Please take a look at this picture. Censorship is on America because the first amendment of the United States of America Constitution protects the right of freedom of right of expression from government interference. I, my specific purpose of this presentation is to convince that assigned books censorship is not desirable. The need to oppose the banning of this assigned book should be should be a priority as a book banning is a threat to our value and freedom of thought. Today, I would like to talk about to you about what censorship is, what censorship is, why censorship and effect of censorship. I will start off with the definition of censorship. What is censorship? Censorship is the removal of a field of material that are found to be offensive by the censor. Or, in a simple term, it is the removal of things that someone does not like. You may like this setting of something, but but because someone else does not, you are being denied of that material. Because they believe that the material certain in that book is offensive or moral, political or religious ground, and should be banned in order to protect their children from exposure to harm ideas. Why censorship? Religious view. Religious view or point of form the base for the removal of assigned books, such as Shakespeare, Oliver Twist, and some volume in the Harris Potis series. Legal consent. Sometimes books are consigned based on legal consent. Social norm. One of the, mo one of the most common reasons why books, why books are often banned is because it challenge traditional and belief. Books are certain such as pornography, racism, or violence are commonly censored. Assigned books may be challenged for a variety of reasons. There is some that if there is some that as acceptance varies from community to communities. Examples of banned books. Known why the cage beds sing by mayor, reason, rape sing, anti white of mice and men by John, reason, pornography. Go ask Alice, anonymous, reason, drug use, drug use, sexual situation. A day no pig would die. Robert Nelson Park reason destruction of pigs mountain, mountain and being slaughtered. Is censorship desirable? No, because social view, social vows happen all around us. They form part of our daily news from television, radio, etc. And even schools, removal of them assigned book only help to increase curiosity or interest in the book. Many readers purposely seek out banned materials. Most censors unconsciously evaluate books to reflect their own upbringings and the way things are done. Things Things are done during their time. With each generation comes its own way of doing things and traditional disorder, the, distorting them through banning of censorship, jeopardize history. Books 
those are not written with the comfort of readers in mind. They are written to reflect realities. Conclusion. I am sure you are seeing the need for us to raise our voices against a book by me. In intellectual belief and social value should be preserved. Any questions? Thank you for listening. I do have a question. Um, about a couple of years ago, I used to work at an elementary school, and the third graders uh, used to go to the library time and read these books about nanny serial killers. Um, what's your position on that? What do you think the parents could have said if they knew that these kids were reading those types of books at school? Yeah, just as I said earlier, it's, it's not too good for us to, to hide some of the things to our kids. Like when you say you banned books or you banned children from watching this movie, they will be so curious to know what is inside. They want to know why you abandon it. Even adults do the same thing too. Like me, when you say you don't want me to see this, I want to know why you don't want me to see it. I want to know what is, I will eager to know what is inside, what is talking about, what that book is for, what is it meant for. This video, they say you should not watch it. What is it talking about? So that's why I say it's better for the parents or anybody to say, let's go over it. It's not good to ban any book. Just let us know what he's talking about and give us advice of not doing that. Thank you. Um, so you have children. Do you, so you obviously you don't censor them. Um, you let them, if they're interested in a topic, do you say, well, go ahead and go find a book, read on it, or do you let them know about that topic? Yeah, let, like I have children. When my kids bring this book, I know it's not good because I mentioned some of the examples. When they bring this book, instead of me saying, oh, don't read this book, just let me see the title, let me see what he's talking about. Then I, I'll not go and buy, I'll not go and hide it. I'm not buying it from him or her from reading it. I will let him see what it is. Then I will sit him or her down and tell him what, all the, what he's talking about. Why you should not, if it's a violent uh, book or movie, you see, these people, when they do this, this is what it costs at the end of it. You will read it, but I will not stop you not to read it, but this is the effect after reading it. So reading it does not make you to practice what is inside the book. Right? Just do what your mind tells you, but don't practice what is in the book. I have a question. Any other question? Yeah. Um, as far as regulation of censorship and a big mass of population, are you for or against uh, um, protest? Yes. Why people should protest against this uh, banding of book is because it's not right. It's not right. When you look at it, it's not right banding, banding any book or movies because it makes people, instead of, being, if, instead of us being good or we'd like to know, and when we try it, when we watch it, we like to practice it. Mm -hmm. So that's why I think it's not right to ban any book or any movie. And we have to protest against that. Thank you. Thank you.